It's a beautiful morning here in uh, northern Maine. And uh, just thinking about a statistic I learned of recently. Um, there was a year, actually, that uh, 55 million people died. Actually, over 55 million people died. And uh, strangely, the news media is not mentioning it. It's kind of weird. You know, the deaths from this pandemic um, have amounted to over 2 million now, nearing 500,000, I think, here in America. And yet there's no mention of the year that 55 million people died. Um, it's kind of strange. You'd think with that level of, of death and suffering and loss of family members and children's, children that lost their grandparents, parents who lost their children, brothers and sisters lost each other, you know, the amount of suffering and death, 55, over 55 million people dead. You'd think that they'd mention something about that. And you say, what year was that? During the Spanish flu, perhaps? No. Perhaps polio? No. The Black Death or some kind of a thing? No, actually, uh, the year that 55.4 million people died was actually uh, 2019. I'll show you the proof right here. This is the World Health Organization's page. Right there you go, 55.4 million people dead. You say, okay, what's the significance of this? Well, the significance of it is very simple. Um, they didn't choose to report on the people that died in 2019 because the media didn't have a purpose for it. Um, a lot of people die every day. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Um, very true. Uh, as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Death is a normal thing. It's a normal part of life on earth. And now all of a sudden they say, well, a lot of people are dying. There's a lot of people dying. And ever, all this stuff, you, you know, you see this thing and, uh, you know, well, like we're supposed to just stop our lives. The, the living are supposed to stop living because people are dying. Uh, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, you don't stop the world, you don't stop life because people are dying. Uh, I just thought that was an interesting little statistic there. 55.4 million people died in 2019, and yet they didn't report on it. They didn't say anything about it. Um, there wasn't the agenda there. So, as I've warned for many years, you need to be very careful about the news media. The news media, it's propaganda. They, they will report on certain things and, and ignore other things because there's an agenda there. Uh, that's what they do. That's what they've always done. And uh, I mean, when you get right down to it, it's really all about, you know, the panic of this past year has really been all about, let me switch my hand here. Got a squirrel over here. Uh, he's upset too, you can hear it. But you know, the panic of this past year has really been all about um, people are truly afraid of death. They don't know where they're going to go when they die. They don't understand death. I'm not afraid of death. Um, I know I'm going to go to heaven when I die. Not because of anything I've done personally, my good works, or I'm a good, great man or whatever else. I'm not. Um, it's because of what Jesus Christ did for me and uh, how he died in my place on the cross. So, uh, I'm not controlled by the fear of man. I'm not controlled by the propaganda of news media. And I pray that you aren't either. And if you are, if you don't really understand salvation, if you don't understand what the Bible says, and we're not, please, please understand something. It's very important. The vast majority of professing Christianity is just that. It's professing. It's not real. Um, you read the, the New Testament for yourself, you aren't going to see things like church buildings and Sunday best and giving 10% tithe to the preacher so he can live better than everybody else. That stuff's foreign to Scripture. Um, don't judge Christianity based on what you see out there. Um, you need to actually pick up a King James Bible and read it for yourself and, and see what it actually says. And you'll be shocked because what the King James Bible says and what people do 
they call themselves Christians are two totally different things. Um, you know, Jesus Christ came to this earth and he founded his church and he told them what told Christians what to do. He gave the rules and the orders and everything else. And then you have people not doing what he said. And somehow Jesus gets blamed for that. I don't want anything to do with Christianity. I don't want anything to do with God or whatever else. Well, it's kind of odd. But uh, so just a little short video here just to kind of make some people think about this. And uh, for those of you out there that are dealing with people, relatives and co-workers and whatever else that are scared by the pandemic, just throw that at them and just simply say, are you aware that there was a year that 55 plus million people died? Do you know about that? Oh, oh really? What was the cause of it? Oh, there's all kinds of ways to die. It's just the normal thing. Nobody got upset about the 55.4 million that died in 2019. You know, I'm sure that there were tears shed at funerals, but uh, news media didn't even cover it. And now they're all excited about 2 million dead. You know, all was just terrible and whatever else. Oh, uh, well, if you report on death every year, it'd be a pretty terrible thing. So, but uh, stay away from the news media. Uh, read your King James Bible. Um, if you're not saved, then read a King James Bible and see what it's about. Check into some videos, look into it. Your salvation is the most important thing in life. That's the whole purpose of living. Well, what's the purpose of life? To find out what happens when you die. To find out why you're here. Why, are you, why were you created? Okay? So, we'll see you in upcoming videos. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.